Queen Tata, the Pirate Queen Who Challenged Rome. The story of Queen Tata of the Illyrians seems to be ripped straight out of a Pirates of the Caribbean movie. The real life Pirate Queen led her people into an age of prosperity by pillaging the nearby seas and coast before angering the great ruling power at that time, Rome. This anger led to a losing war with Rome, known today as the First Illyrian War. Teuta was the second wife of King Agron of Illyria, who, allied with Demetrius II, united Illyria. After Agron died after one of his many parties, either from pneumonia or pleurisy. Teuta came into power, acting as the regent for her stepson, Pinis, who was too young to rule at the time. She wasted no time in putting this newfound power to good use. By a lot of historical sources, it seems that Teuta was a big fan of piracy, which, it is important to note, was an accepted form of trade amongst the Illyrians. She sent her ships out to plunder the towns and villages along the coast and rewarded them when they came back with treasure. These raids along the Italian coast and on the Ionian Sea were highly successful, and Teuta even accompanied her ships on some of them, solidifying status as a true pirate queen. One of her most infamous acts of piracy sounded straight out of a Pirates of the Caribbean movie. It was certainly a ploy Captain Jack Sparrow would approve of. Queen Teuta and her men, disguised as thirsty travelers, carried pots to the gates of a city and pleaded for water. They claimed that they were dehydrated and in need of aid from the city. The moment the gatekeepers allowed them in, Teuta and her men unsheathed their blades and began raiding the city, plundering for all the valuables they could get. The wealth and treasure that came from plundering of these Greek towns and villages led Illyria into an age of prosperity, enshrining her mighty rule further. That all changed one day when Teuta's men started pillaging the Italian coast towards Rome. At this time, Rome was the ruling power of the Mediterranean, with a military force not to be reckoned with. But as the all-powerful queen of the pirates of the Mediterranean, who was to stop Teuta? The Romans, wanting an end to Illyrian piracy that disrupted their trade, sent ambassadors to meet with Teuta to no avail. Most sources of this account are from the Romans, but there are some sources from the Illyrians that give a slightly better outlook overall. The Roman envoys were apparently rude and disrespectful to the queen, even going so far as to tell her Illyria should be more like Rome. It goes without saying that Teuta was neither pleased nor going to listen to the Romans, and as to prove a point to Rome, she had the two men executed on their way back. This led to the start of the First Illyrian War, a losing battle for Teuta. While the Illyrians had a powerful navy, they were no match for Rome on land and lost their main fortresses quickly. The once undefeated queen was slowly losing the reins of her control over Illyria. After losing badly throughout 229 to 227 BC, Teuta finally surrendered. The Romans supplanted most of Teuta's power to her general, Demetrius Eros, and left her with only a small area to rule. Not much is known about Teuta after the war, aside from that she offered a formal apology to Rome on behalf of her late husband, but not herself. There also goes one Albanian legend about the queen that claims her stolen treasure was hidden by some loyal soldiers. But much like the still mysterious queen herself, there is little room for certainty. To this day, the legend of the famed Queen Teuta and her pirates lives on, although it is a tale with missing parts, which will continue to puzzle historians and pirate enthusiasts alike. It is a story remembered by Albanians and is depicted in their art. Perhaps we may really never know what happened to the ancient original female Jack Sparrow. 
but we can certainly try and fantasize about a queen feared by the Romans, drinking rum and commandeering a colossal ship piled with golden loot. The end. My name is Kavya Vekanand. This is Kaylin Long. Thank you for listening to our presentation.